I'm Megan Tui. I'm Nicole Fiorentino. We're from the Cold and Lovely, and this is South by Southwest AU Review. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. For you just us. you just flew in. The weather's come out for us. It's South gorgeous. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm everything kidding. kind of hurts. Yeah. No, it's true. Already everything hurts, but in a good way. <laughs> you haven't done a show already yet, have you? No, no, that's we the haven't even thing. done the show. <laughs> We've just been walking around all day. And that's what's so bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> South by Southwest just kind of has this has this frantic energy, so it's hard to to not feel that way immediately upon landing. Exactly. Indeed, it's it's overload, and and you've got how many shows this time around? We have five. Five shows. Yeah, two two official showcases and three parties. Three parties. Yeah. Well, it's not too bad. It's That's not bad, too bad. Yeah. I'm Manageable. Sure you, you you may have done worse. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. <laughs> so. South by Southwest, it's the time to talk about your latest music. Let us know what um, what you're up to at the moment. I know there was an EP that came out last year. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's kind of what we're here pushing, is our Ellis Bell EP, We're the Cold and Lovely, and uh, basically, we are kind of getting ready to tour with that record, um, and oddly enough, put out another record at some point in the next six months. So we've got great response to the Ellis Bell EP, and it's just kind of pushing us to take the band to the next level. Fantastic. So, tell us a little bit about you know the, the, this this EP. I mean, is it how far back does the music go? How far back did you record it and, and all that? Because I mean, you're both so busy with other things as well. I'm sure. Yeah. Now is actually the first opportunity we've had in the two years that we've been a band to actually get out and like play live and push our music and um, just really put ourselves out there. So it's really cool. But as far as the the EP, um, some of the songs go back date far before Meg and I even met like you had you had written some of the songs Just and basically one of the songs doll uh, was a was a track that I had written probably eight years ago and uh, I ended up finding it in a ta- you know an old demo reel that I had put together and I thought oh this is a good song I think this would work really well with this band and uh, I played it for Nicole and she really loved it and said that you know maybe we should change the bass line and try try putting it you know in a production sense of like my bloody valentine or make it more atmospheric more rhythmic and uh we kind of just went with it and it turned out great so yeah basically i don't know we're we're hoping that south by southwest is gonna allow us to be in front of an audience that we haven't been in front of yet so So where'd you record the music was it at home yeah, home, it was primarily home, home studio. studio. Yeah, yeah. The drums were recorded somewhere else, but everything else was recorded at home. Um, and then we had it mixed and mastered by Dave Cooley, who did um, Silver Sun pickups and M83. But the majority of the record is just home studio. That's how we roll DIY. <laughs> <laughs> DIY. Makes it makes it easier to slip in as well. It does definitely. Just in our PJs, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Cup of coffee, glass of wine, exactly. matter. So, looking to the year ahead, it seems like there's going to be a bit of touring off the back of the EP post South by. We certainly hope so. Yeah, we've been um, in some talks with uh, some people in Mexico and South America and possibly Europe. So, we're hoping to kind of get out of the U.S. because it's really hard to break a new band here. And you know, we've been Nicole and I have both been in the music industry for like the last 15 years and. Have, been in many different groups and played with a lot of different artists and we've seen what it takes and the way that people respond here in the states to new bands and it just seems like overseas there's a lot you know better chance of people being interested in new new music and Mm. not to mention new music with like veterans of the music industry too Mm. here it's like if you're a veteran in the music industry it's almost like you're a has-been you know but you know we find that it might it might be a better place to start than here although you know Obviously, we're going to be doing some touring in the U.S. too. Have you toured outside of the States yet in this project? As this band? No. No, not yet. We no. have not. No. That's the kind of summer summer goal, is to do some of that. Maybe even fit in an Australian jaunt at some, some stage? Yeah. I, really I played so. with Lenka yeah. for a long time. So I've been to Australia a couple times, and uh, Nicole's been there with Smashing Pumpkins, of course. So we love Australia. I love it. And you were touring love with it. the Red Paintings as well, weren't you? Um, I didn't I didn't tour with them, no. I did one um, live performance with them. Oh, right. Yeah. So yeah. a very quick, a yeah, very quick it was for a TV show in L.A. Oh, right. Um, yeah, I wasn't able to get on that tour, actually, because... 
we've been so busy with this that I just honestly didn't want like any big distractions. We're so we're so focused on this project, so definitely. But but all the same, you 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 both have your Australian connections. Oh, for oh sure. absolutely. One yeah. of our closest friends actually made uh, the guitars that we usually play. Um, he's a guitar tech. His name is Linz McKay. He's from Australia, and uh, he makes incredible instruments. So he he built us a guitar and a bass. And uh, we just so that we're kind of in love with. Yeah, and he's he's out now with he's guitar checking for Heart. So okay. he's an Australian dude. Yeah, he did in excess for many many years. So it's um, Bonville, around. Bonville guitars. Bonville guitars. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we're friends with the Veronicas as well. Oh, so yeah. also yeah. living living in L.A. Lisa and Lisa. Yep. Yep. So we've got a lot of and Aussie Stella connections. from Warpaint. Yeah, and all like she used to play with Lenka as well. A lot of lot of Australian friends in L.A. There's definitely a big population there, so. We like you people. Yeah, you guys are great. <laughs> and Brody Dow from, yeah. Uh, yeah. I used to play with Spinneret. Yeah. You did indeed. So there you go. The list is, the list is endless. Well, yeah. the point is, yeah. we've got to get you down to the Australia. Is, yes. <laughs> no, we love that. We love that. <laughs>